day started out cool and cloudy and I decided since my chard was to perfection in my planter that I would make braised greens southern style. So stay tuned. Chard is one of the most nutritious vegetables and from my experience is one of the most pest free. So I love growing chard. It's also a great container plant to grow if you have a small space garden or just a balcony garden. Grow some chard in a pot and this will offer you a lot of nutrition. The other way I like to use this is to put it in my vegetable juice and that way you get the nutrients raw and fresh. But now we're going to make some comfort food. In the interest of time, I've got all my ingredients ready except for the chard. And if you've never worked with chard or big greens, collards before, this is the way I do it. I just cut the ribbing right off the leaf like that and I chop up the stem or the ribbing and I'll hold them separately to cook separately. The way I do the leaves is I fold this over I make one slice down there and I just make big ribbon slices and since my arm is not working all that well I'm not doing this as carefully as I might okay now I'll prepare the rest of the chard and we'll get started the reason to remove the rib is because the rib takes longer to cook and the greens take much less time. Now in the south they cook greens for hours but we're not going to do that. So the rib goes in before the greens. Okay we have all of our ingredients assembled. This is the loosely chopped leaves of a pound of chard. These are the chopped stems or ribs. I've got a chopped onion and this is the Texas rose garlic that I just harvested on Thursday. I've got about four small cloves here. You can add more if you're a garlic lover. This is a half a cup of bone broth. You can also use chicken broth. And this is three slices of chopped organic bacon. This is a quarter of a teaspoon of red wine vinegar. And this is an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper flakes. First, we're gonna fry the bacon over medium heat in a large soup pan. You want to fry the bacon until it is crispy. Well, I'll turn my back for a minute and it's got a little hot. Now we're adding the onions into the fat and the bacon. And we're going to cook the onions until they are translucent. almost there and because I cannot resist I like to put a little bit of coriander in almost everything now the onions are almost clear and I am going to add the garlic Ooh, that is pungent and saute that for two minutes now at this point, I put in my chopped ribs. I'll 
saute that for about two minutes. At this point, we're going to add the broth and deglaze the pan. We need to bring the temperature up so it starts to boil and then you scrape off all the bacon bits that are on the bottom and that just gives the greens a great flavor. Now we're going to add a good pinch of salt and put in our greens. You may have to work in two batches if your pot's not big enough, but these cook down, really cook down. At this point, you turn the heat down to low. You cover it and cook it for 30 minutes up to two hours. Okay, this looks great. Now the vinegar and the pepper flakes you add when you serve it. If you love hot pepper, you can go ahead and put the flakes in while it's cooking and the whole thing will taste hot. Now you want to wait for it to cool down just a little bit so the flavors meld. I can't wait to try this. I'm just going to add a little bit of vinegar and a pinch of pepper flakes. Well. Okay, here we go. Let's try this. Oh, that is so good. It absolutely melts in your mouth. I, I can't imagine cooking that for two hours, but I know, I remember my mother cooking green beans for hours. <laughs> Both of my grandparents had farms, small farms, and one grandfather raised hogs, and he even had his own smokehouse right beside the kitchen garden and he would smoke hams and bacon and I grew up eating bacon every single morning of my life. <laughs> mm. 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 That is so good. Thanks so much for watching this channel and sharing it with your friends. Please give me that like and don't forget to click that bell underneath the video so you'll be notified each time I upload a new one. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next video.